It wasn't your land. It wasn't your land. Where we say it was? It was our land. It was not your land. Nobody saying it was our land. It was our land. Strong words on both sides of the debate on the removal of the statue of former Mayor Frank Bogert in front of Palm Springs City Hall. The city of Palm Springs removed that statue today after two years of debate and legal maneuvering. News Channel 3's Marion Bouchard reports on this morning's removal. And now, what's next? Hours before the removal of former Mayor Frank Bogert's statue, some of his supporters put up several American flags. This is not a protest. Uh, this is simply an honor to a, a person who we all admire and feel is wrongly being uh, destroyed. Supporter Norm King says he knew Bogert personally. Dozens of other Bogert supporters joined him, including Gene Autry's wife, Jackie. What bothers me the most is that five city council members have not bothered to listen to any of the people in Palm Springs. The thousands of people have gone and supported Frank, sent letters, protested, showed up, and they don't care. Palm Desert-based Art Collective Fine Art Services handled the statue's removal sawing off the base of the statue, using a crane to hoist it up onto the flatbed. With those in favor of removing the statue, cheering. They say in the 50s and 60s, Bogert was part of forced evictions of hundreds of people from a one square mile block of property in downtown Palm Springs, known as Section 14. Betty Mayfield Taylor is one of the people who lived in Section 14. How he allowed so much to happen as far as the destruction that was caused, people will see that you don't glorify someone like that. To see this from our encouragement, to see his statue that represents such a negative be removed from the city property, that's full circle for us. Crews wrapped the statue up in blankets, hauling it away around 8.15 Monday morning. After more than 30 years of Frank Bogart's statue standing here in front of City Hall in Palm Springs, it was removed in less than 90 minutes. And now this is all that remains, rock, and dust. It's a statue that symbolizes two very different perspectives, bringing an opportunity for understanding, even in its absence. It's disheartening for both sides, but um, out of it, we're hopefully that we'll be able to move forward as a community. But that's only a chip off the iceberg. There's so much more to be done. In Palm Springs, Marion Bouchot, News Channel 3. And let's take a look now at what's next for the statue. The city recently defeated a preliminary injunction, which gives the city the legal right to permanently remove the statue at this time. I know the city is currently engaged with the Friends of Frank Bogart to find a mutually agreeable location for the statue to be removed, to be taken to on a permanent basis. That was the assistant city attorney in Palm Springs. The statue now in storage at the city maintenance facility while officials determine a new home. The group Friends of Mayor Frank Bogert wants the statue to be put on display in the village green area of Palm Springs. The city has not confirmed if they have agreed to that request. Of course, we'll bring you any new developments.